good evening, guys. I am Bernice, the bride's favorite sister. Kasi ako lang naman. I'm the only one. And of course, the couple's favorite third wheel. Ben, do you agree? Grabe. Okay. Cut. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you that, you know, Vernica and I are very close to each other sometimes. They even mistake us as lesbians. Grabe, di ba? <laughs> That's how close we are. So, you know, we really f- share a stronger bond than any average sisters. Because aside from sharing the same bedroom, clothes when you were kids, you know, now that we're adults, we're lucky enough to grow our pants together as well. Sharing also a bedroom, even if we're already 20, 27, closet, and of course, starting and growing our business together. So, as we all know, we're really inseparable. But of course, prior to the pandemic, you know, this has been the longest also we've been apart. So, okay, before I (laughs) break down, let me tell you guys a little backstory and the three times that Vern said yes to Ben. So, a little backstory for each time as well. Of course, the most recent one was earlier today. The big yes, so I won't. We all know what happened earlier. And the first yes that I will share with you guys was when Ben asked Vern, last year to marry him so they have been quarantined for almost 10 months and because they lived in different cities and because we work abroad most of the time you rarely see each other Vern and Ben had been in a mostly long distance relationship for seven years they have been as a couple and this is also the longest time that Vern and Ben spent time together as a couple was the longest stretch Vern was here in Cebu. But of course, that also means it was the longest time we were apart. It was the longest stretch of time Vernica spent away from her family in Manila. And the longest we sisters have been separated. So of course it I could not I could not help when Vern announced their engagement. Of course I was really happy but it was inevitable that I was also breaking down in silence. So now I'm going to have a bedroom alone. Our late night talks, just ranting about everything, <laughs> about Ben, about Alf, all our stress. <laughs> or our chikahan lang, wala na yun every night. But, you know, seeing and being with your new family here in Cebu, when I'm so happy and I'm so grateful that you found them. But see how lovely Cebu is, and <laughs> you have an extra room for me. My loneliness is now fast turning with excitement of when I can always come to visit you guys. And of course, Milana and Chewie. And with their engagement, I also felt wary. Being protective, Ben knows that I'm so <laughs> protective of Vern. Of course, it got me thinking, what if Ben's habit cannot cope with Vern's <laughs> compuls- <laughs> compulsiveness with being neat and always being so tidy? What if Ben's min- <laughs> minimalist approach to clothes explodes with my sister's growing <laughs> fashion collection? <laughs> I would had have a panic attack when I was brooding all these what-ifs. But when I recalled the previous times that Vern said yes to Ben, I realized that there was nothing to be worried about. 
So the second yes I will tell you is the yes Vern gave Ben to become a couple. It was not quite remarkable as the yes on their wedding day or the yes on their engagement. But the yes marked the time when Ben really began to win over not just Burns, but me and my family as well. When they became a couple, I, be I became their official third wheel. As in guys, to the point that when we travel, <laughs> we would make Ben take one million photos <laughs> wearing all these <laughs> crazy outfits. <laughs> I think that was the test, talaga. And I knew that Ben can surpass anything. <laughs> I also saw how Ben could make my sister smile, laugh and talk, and act free of pretentiousness, and just be fun, goofy self. I also experienced how Ben took me in as a sister as well, being protective of me too. Right, <laughs> Ben? It wasn't long after they officially became a couple that I saw how well suited Ben and Vern are for each other. Because in many ways, Ben's personality is just like mine. <laughs> I'm sure you agree. <laughs> so alike that actually he could pass as <laughs> a male version of me. On the other hand, also my boyfriend is so much like Vern. <laughs> we got so close as sister that unconsciously we found partners who are male versions of ourselves. <laughs> so what is there to worry about, right? <laughs> I know Ben is very much like me and he can survive it. I'm, for <laughs> I'm sure. So Ben, if you haven't figured out yes, I really approve of you. This comes from my family as well. And before I tell you the last yes, Ben and Vern, please do know that I love you both so much and I know that you have great things to experience and create together. So much growing together as a couple and as individuals. And I'm so excited to meet you know, your future little Ben and Verns and we're more Chewy and Milana. So guys, I'm going to wrap up by telling you about the third and the last yes. <laughs> so it... <laughs> you guys know na where this is leading. <laughs> so in their relationship, it was really the third yes. It wasn't on the first night they met. This was at the Sinulog party. This was, I guess, 2014? Yeah, 2014. Vern and I came to Sinulog and Vern was really heartbroken. We even kept the promise na, oh, take a break from all the boys because we just got heartbroken. And then later that night, I was really convincing Vern, let's go out. And she was like, she was so cranky. She really didn't want to go out. I had to drag her. But <laughs> the first yes, was when she said yes to having a con conversation with the very persistent men. So they chatted for a while. Shepard, I had to be the protective sister. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Vern. But of course, Ben was super persistent with Vern. And the second yes was when Vern gave her number. And Ben would always keep texting Vern that trip. I remember that. And on our last night in Cebu, um, Ben asked Vern if he could have um, a conversation because we were leaving for Manila the day <laughs> the next day, and our flight was around 7 a.m. I remember it vividly because I remember I was asking Vern, "Okay, Vern, I'm gonna sleep. I'll just leave you guys." And then around I don't remember what time, but probably 4 a.m. He she came home. And then, I, then she was knocking. And when I opened the door, I was like, why? What happened? And she said, this is the guy I'm going to marry you. Ben doesn't know the story. But this, this was really what she said.
and seven years later, here we are, gathered with your stupid couple, witnessing to the many years it took for them to get here. So join me in raising a glass to Vernon then, and to many more yes as they would say to each other as husbands and wives. Cheers, guys. I love you.